And if that doesn't work, get a better doctor, right? I mean, we are out there. I listen to my patients. I listen to their story. I, you know, I had a patient today that said for years and years and years, she had been told, take this painkiller, take more painkillers, you know, just take painkillers. And I said, well, you probably have endo. And she said, why has no one said that to me yet? And I said, I don't know. I mean, we do a terrible job of it, but I get, there's no question. Lots of people have endo. It's very prevalent. Why wouldn't we take that seriously? Why should it take that long for a woman to be get, you know, to receive a diagnosis? Granted, it does take a long time to get someone into surgery and surgery is not without risks, but if the shoe fits, like take the poor woman to the OR and figure it out. Not this nonsense of that's normal. I don't get it. I really don't. If I'm not having my period for six months at a time, does Whoa. that say anything about my fertility? Yes, you urgently need to go see somebody because either your ovaries are not working properly, in which case it could be a PCOS situation, which is very high risk for cancer, or you are going into an earlier um, diminished ovarian reserve situation. And if that's the case, you absolutely need to be evaluated because that is serious. So do not let that sit. You are at risk for cancer or you're at risk for premature menopause and you can lose your chance to have a baby. So don't be having periods every six months. I spend half my day saying this to people. So.